Hello, dear friends. First of all, we want to say thank you for being with us all these years, or just a couple of days. We have crossed 20,000 subscribers on this channel, and that is unbelievable. We will continue to make a better content for you, so stay tuned for more new videos. Today we will talk about cacti, of course, and the main topic of this video is flowering. All cacti are flowering plants. Depending on the species, they blossom throughout the year. The duration of flowering usually doesn't exceed several weeks. One flower can be opened from a few hours to several days. Some species can reflow during one season. Flowering depends on the age of the plant and caring for it. Some cacti do not bloom until they are more than 30 years old. Others will not bloom if they do not get proper care conditions. Temperature, lighting, watering and feeding. For example, the first flowering of the Echinococcus grusoniae should be at the age of 30 years. This plant began to develop buds, but there was a mistake in caring for the cactus, which had stopped their development. And as a result, flowering in the current season is missed. The mistake was that the plant was exposed to open air during the budding period, and it fell under the influence of low night temperatures. Just a little bit smaller cacti will bloom in a couple of years, and this kit will blossom in around 25 years. The Christmas cactus will not bloom if it doesn't get long nights and short days. Cacti with a high pillar-shaped stalk for the first time will bloom decades after seed's germination. In some species, flowers appear when the stem reaches a 5-meter height. Astrophytum ornatum flowering can occur when the plant reaches a certain species size. However, even if the cactus has reached the required size, but in the spring-summer period it grows with insufficient illumination and in unfavorable temperature conditions, then there will be no flowering. Another example. If an adult sclerocactus that has already repeatedly blossomed is exposed to high temperatures during budding, it will not bloom, regardless of the development stage of the bud. The described group of cacti is not for an amateur who wants to see his own blooming cactus relatively quickly. For this purpose, plants that begin to bloom from the age of 3 are suitable. They usually have a spherical shape or columnar form up to 30 cm high. It can be Mammillaria, Parodia and Notocactus, Echinopsis, Rebutia and Salcoributia. As a rule, there are a lot of suitable varieties of this species of cacti in garden centers, so it isn't a problem to choose one that you like. If the varieties are collectible, then it is necessary to learn more about the degree of their capriciousness before buying. It is better to buy a plant that has bloomed at least once. Suppose that you have a plant which has already bloomed. And now let's talk about what should be done to make the cactus blossom again. The life cycle of a cactus is divided into two periods. A period of rest and a period of development. In the vast majority of cases, during the rest period, visually no changes with the plant should not occur. During the development period, the plant grows in size, blossoms, and seeds are developed. During the rest period, we pay special attention to the temperature. It should be in the range from 7 to 12 degrees Celsius. The illumination does not matter so much, the frequency of irrigation – once a month or less. And it is very important not to provide any feeding during this period. The most problematic is to ensure a cool maintenance of the plant. During the development period, we pay attention to the illumination, the frequency of watering and fertilizing. More information about care conditions for cacti is written in the article on our website. If necessary, the plant is transplanted into a larger pot. We also have a really good video on how to properly transplant a cactus. The links to these materials will be in the description below. Special care is required for a group of tropical forest cacti. The Christmas cactus is a bright representative of them. It needs cool nights and more than 13 hours of darkness every day for flowering. 
Christmas cactus blooms more abundantly if the roots are developed in a close pot. More information about care conditions for this plant you can find on our website. So, what do we need to make the cacti blossom? It is necessary to know their specific features, as well as to provide recommended care conditions in the period of rest and during the growing season. In this case, success is guaranteed. If you like this video, hit the like button below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel, because this is the best motivation for us. See you in the next video. Good luck!